Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing 5 DIY affordable Christmas gifts. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the post notification. Thanks! So first we're just going to start off with a peppermint sugar scrub. I have peppermint essential oil and peace and calming essential oil. I have 2 cups sugar and 2 thirds cup melted coconut oil. I mixed up the coconut oil after 30 second intervals in the microwave and put it into the sugar. I then mixed that around and added the peppermint essential oil and the peace and calming essential oils. I added about 20 drops of this peppermint essential oil and then I added about 3 drops of the peace and calming essential oil. The peace and calming is definitely optional. I just had it in my house so I decided to use it. So when I put the peace and calming in there I did not know it was going to come out green and my face was just, I was terrified, it looked so weird. So I just mixed it around and it, it was not yellow, thank goodness. And then I put it into two separate bowls and I dyed half of it pink because we did not have red food coloring. And then I just started putting the sugar scrub alternating between pink and white into the jar. Once that was all into the jar, I cut out a piece of paper the size of the lid and put that in there. And then I wrapped twine around the jar and threaded a candy cane in it and tied a bow. The candy cane is definitely optional, but I just think it makes it look more Christmassy. Then I wrote peppermint sugar scrub and you're done. I think it turned out really great. I use this all the time and it's a great gift idea. Next up is a Christmas tree painting. This is super affordable. It's just a canvas and some watercolor paints. I did go off a reference picture for this, so this definitely is not my design, although I did add a few differences, so it's not exactly the same. I started off with a regular tree just using swiping motions, and then for the second tree, I used a little bit lighter green, and then I just kind of held the bright flash and then tapped while moving the brush horizontally. And then for the third one, I just kind of did swooping motions. And I, for the bottom pots that they're in, the first one is just regular pot, and then the second one is more of a tree cover, and then the third one is almost like a vase. And then I painted some ornaments and stars on each one. I then put some red dots on the third one to make it look like a gold. I also wrote it's the most wonderful time of the year in red marker down at the bottom. Next up is giftable cake and a mug. I first started out with a mug and then I added these ingredients to a small bowl. I then mixed all this up and got a Ziploc bag and cut off the zipper part. I then poured the mixture into the Ziploc bag and sealed it with twine. I thought that that looked more Christmassy than just a Ziploc bag. And then put it inside the mug, got some twine and some red, a red tag. And I wrote, add one egg, one tablespoon melted butter, one fourth teaspoon vanilla extract, and microwave for one minute. I took some twine then and tied it to the mug. That is the finished giftable cake in the mug, and I think it turned out great. Next is these adorable rainbow earrings. I made them out of clay, so I just took three small balls of clay and then some earring hoop things, I don't exactly know what they're called. I then rolled them out into skinny log shaped things and shaped them into arch forms. Have you wrote your list to keep the 
I did lose the footage of me rolling out the blue and cutting them, but I then just rolled out some small balls and then flattened them. For poking the holes, I found out that doing it like how I was doing it in the video was a lot harder. It was a lot easier just to poke the hole with a pen because then you got more of an even hole and one that looked a lot better. Because when I did this, I found that it was really difficult to put the hoops into the earrings. I then baked it for the time that it said on the direction. And once that was done and cooled, I added the hoops and the ears. I think these turned out adorable, and I definitely will give these to all my friends. Next up are these adorable little ornaments. So I just have some hot chocolate, some marshmallows, candy canes, mini chocolate chips, and then a clear ornament that I got from the dollar store. I then made a little funnel out of paper and poured the hot chocolate in. I already had all of this stuff at home, but this would be pretty cheap to me. I added the hot chocolate into the ornament and then I used a water bottle to crush the cake. You have to crush them pretty finely because I used a small ornament so I had to crush them up really small to be able to fit them inside the cake. I then used the funnel to put all the candy canes into the ornament. This is really cute as an ornament just on the tree or as a hot chocolate cake that you can just pour into hot water. I then had to shake it up a little to get it more even, but I just then poured in some mini chocolate chips which wouldn't really fit through the funnel so I just poured them in. And then I stuffed some mini marshmallows in there and it's finished. This turned out really cute and I think it'd be a great gift for all your neighbors or anyone who loves hot chocolate. Some other great personalizable gift ideas can be a bullet journal or a recipe journal. You can personalize them to their liking so make sure you go check those out on my channel when I show you how to do them and Thank you so much for watching today's video if you made it all the way through. Thank you. Bye.